And for the record, I definitely have um, text messages in this video. I got my receipts because I don't have a reason to lie. So for the people that's in denial about how what a phony Walt is, that's y'all problem. Okay, he didn't live with y'all. But like I said, the receipts, text messages between me and him in the video. What up, cut ups? This video is going to be about my brother and y'all. Uh, okay, I'm try to be cool, but I had to make this video because my brother just basically used me, guys, the whole time. Um, there was no genuine um, bond being created between me and my brother uh on my end it was it was very genuine okay um i really feel that my brother orchestrated you know coming to me uh and when i was in milwaukee because he probably felt like i would put him up and take him in and guys i did do that I feel like I'm, I'm feeling a lot of emotions, guys, okay? Uh, I feel hurt. I feel um, betrayed. I feel like there was no loyalty, you know, there, period, okay? All of y'all know that Walt is my brother. That's my sibling, okay? And I'm going to say it like this, okay? From having him stay with me. I can definitely see why Cindy did what she did. And I got to say this, Cindy, I apologize to you because I now know what you went through. Okay, and I want people to understand that this is coming from a sibling's perspective, meaning I'm not a scorned lover just trying to throw somebody under the bus just because I'm not going to gain anything from this, but telling the truth and putting it out there. Okay, Walt is a user. My brother is a user, and it ain't no other way to say that. Okay, now... I told Walt, just like I told Bethany, that I would not, because we family and we all YouTubers, that I wouldn't blast them. Well, Bethany, no more, okay? I had never blasted Walt. But I told them I wouldn't do that, y'all. I changed my mind, okay? And let me tell you why. Because there was no loyalty. There was no loyalty to me. What do I look like being loyal to a motherfucker that used me? No. I need to expose that. Because y'all know that's what I do. Okay? That's what I do. See, y'all, I done came all the way to Florida trying, y'all. Trying to come into a new life. Meet new people. Positive, progressive people. That's part of the reason why I'm here. Okay, I don't want no drama. Y'all, when I look out my window and see all that out there, uh, it, it really ain't no room to be mad and angry about stuff. It's really not. But when a bitch use me, I'm pulled back into the drama. They making me do the shit. Okay, because I ain't made like that. I ain't gonna let nobody screw me over. And then just be quiet about it. And don't tell people. No. My job is to expose bitches. That's what I do. And the thing is, most people know that. 
Most people know that already. I know this for a fact. Bethany and Walt knew this video was popping today. Well, my family too, that goes without saying. But I specifically told Bethany and Walt. Okay. Bethany spin on it was like, I knew you was going to do it. But that's between you and him. Thank you, sis. Thanks for staying neutral because you're right. I text Walt a whole bunch of stuff, y'all. Ooh, it was some choice things. Okay. But that last text was, now it's me and you, punk. Now it's me and you. Okay. Y'all, I cannot stand a liar. Hate him. A user, I hate him. And just to know that this lying user was around me, y'all, make me want to punch that bitch in his eye. Okay. Now, for all the Puff Puff gang and all the cut-ups that Walt food, Walt is a phony, okay? It needs to, be, it has to be put out there. And I'm his sister, but the, the man is a phony, okay? He's a phony, guys. All right? Now, I'm going to start when Walt first came to me. And I'm going to let y'all know up until now, because somebody called me last night already and told me that uh, Walt was in the well in in the background of of a female's video back in Milwaukee. Okay, so y'all gonna eventually put it together. So I'm gonna let it be known. Okay, what happened? Let's go back to Milwaukee. Walt called me. It was a couple days before Christmas, okay? Before Christmas, I'll say that. Um, said he was in town. And I went to the bus station and picked him up. When I saw his bag, I knew something was wrong. You know, he had a real big bag, y'all. And I knew someone wasn't right. Um, but the thing is, Walt wasn't even man enough to even tell me that he needed me. He wasn't man enough to say that he was thrown out or whatever the case may be. Walt say he left on his own. That's kind of suspect now because I know how it went down here. So I don't even know if that's true or not. I don't know. Okay. I only know from my experience, but I know that Walt is not the person that y'all think he is. Period. Walt is a phony and a fake. And I, I, I can't. Y'all fake, phony. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm not with that. I don't care who it is. I'm not with it. What was wrong? But he came to me before Christmas. I went and picked him up from the bus station. All right. I gave Walt a key right away. Okay. Walt basically manipulated me into thinking that, you know, we was going to have this bond, this connection or whatever. And that wasn't the case, guys. Walt needed somewhere to stay. Okay. Again. And I don't understand it, y'all. You know, why this grown ass man just won't go on and get him somewhere. He got money. That's a whole nother story, but I'm gonna get into that too. But guys, he didn't even tell me he was coming to stay with me at all. Never mentioned that. Brought his things to my house. Was at my house. Y'all know. Y'all saw. Okay. All of a sudden, Walt was just there. Listen, guys. When I was in Milwaukee, I was in a program called a rap program. And it is for people that, for due to COVID, people that may get behind in their rent or whatever, even though I really didn't, guys, okay? But I was qualified for this program. So I figured if the state or the government going to pay for this, why should I spend my money? So the rent was not an issue for me before I left at that house. And that is why I never asked my brother for a thing. He didn't pay me anything, y'all. The first month that he was living with me, okay? I figured if I'm not paying rent, what I look like charging him rent? No. And I didn't. Y'all can ask. 
Okay. Only way y'all gonna be able to do that is in a live because y'all know he don't, so say he don't watch the videos or respond. But all I'm saying is there was still an electric bill that had to be paid. Wi-Fi. Okay. And I think that was really it, guys. Yeah, just the, the, uh, the Wi-Fi and the electric bill. Yeah, that was all, you know. But I never asked Walt for a, a dime. I never asked him for a penny, y'all. I never did. Walt got his money, okay? He never offered me a dime. Never offered me a penny, okay? You still in my house, man. You still, you know, using my shit. You still in my house. And it let me know, you know, what type of person this, this is. You know, because a person who's being genuine and really, really appreciative of just having, you know, the opportunity to go and stay at someone's home, they would at least try to drop something, you know. Here you go. Here's this. Just take that, you know. Walt had it easy, y'all, and he knew it. When he came to me, Walt came into a ready-made home, had the key, a ready-made car, because the nigga drove my car for weeks and I hadn't even driven it, okay? He came into all of that. Now, eventually Walt started to mingle with people and whatever, whatever. That's his business, you know. He, <clears throat> excuse me. He started to spend the night, you know, probably with females or whatever. Still, that's his business. Um, Whatever, whatever. All I know, guys, is that I didn't charge him anything. I was still buying food. This nigga eating. When I would go out, I would buy shit for my brother. Actually felt guilty about eating without him being there. <laughs> yeah. You know, a lot of times, Walt didn't even eat the stuff that I would buy. He just wasted. He wastes a lot of food. He do. But it was the principle of it, though. You know, still got it for him. And I thought, wait a minute, I don't even want to get into the, the smoke, you know. When he came near y'all, it was ready-made. I, I think I had three different types of, of smoke at that time. So, Walt is like a, a grown-ass child. That's what he really is. Like, that's his mentality because he just... He think he's going to keep living off people. I don't understand that. I just don't get it. I don't get it, y'all. But that's what it is. That's what it is. So, now I come to Florida for Christmas. Um, and I'm here for a week in Pompano. Walt got my car, access to my house, all that. Okay. Y'all. <laughs> When I came home, you know, first off, he tried this, y'all. He took my car and he was gone all night with it. So when he came home and I told a few people about it, they was like, don't snap, don't snap, don't put him in the video. Don't do it, don't do it. When he came in, he went in the living room, sat on the couch, I went right in there. And I said, listen, bro, you can't be keeping my car anywhere all night. I don't want to have to worry about my car. Now, you do what you want to do. But that, that's mine. You're not taking my car. And it's not staying overnight nowhere. I want to look out my window and know it's right there. Because it's my shit. Okay? Conversation over. I started getting my car keys after that. Because I can clearly see this nigga wasn't taking care. Y'all, the light for the tires and the air pressure... The tire pressure was on in the car, okay? No gas. Mm -hmm. Dirty as hell. Now, I'm admit it wasn't the cleanest at first, but it wasn't that bad, you know? Well, from the time he started driving my car, the only thing he did was put gas in the jaw, you know? He was running my car down to the ground when I sent him a text, okay? And I said, bro... If you're going to drive my car, drive it to the gas station. Drive it to the car wash. Okay? If you're going to drive it, take care of it. 
Mm -mm. I just got my shit back. Period. Okay. Now that's just with the car. Because he was pushing the shit then. My mama was saying, don't let Walt use you. Do not let him use you. Okay? I have an uncle, Uncle Ronnie. He was suspicious. Right before I came here for this move, he was like, do you really trust him? So people were seeing through, especially my mama. It's almost impossible for my mama not to peg a bitch. When she... She can just see. She can. She just know, okay? And that's just what it is. I don't know how. I'm not going to question how. She was right, okay? Because my mother knew how bad I wanted the relationship with my brother. She, Everybody knew. And Walt played on that shit. He played on it. So that was that. Now I decided to move to Florida, period, permanently, okay? Y'all... I asked Walt for $1,000 to help me with the truck. The truck was $2,300, okay? So he gave me the $1,000. I put up the, the $1,300 or whatever, okay? That was our way to get here. As y'all know, I vlogged it, okay? That $1,000 had nothing to do with the rent, guys. Please understand, I paid thousands of dollars to live here. I had to pay a double security because I had to use my mom's information. I had to pay a double security, guys. Double. Thousands of dollars. Okay? I paid my way to be in my new home. But y'all know what came with me. He hadn't paid y'all to be here. He hadn't paid. <laughs> then he had enough nerve to say, y'all, you can keep the thousand dollars. Bitch, what is you talking about? I know that. I need more for rent because you're still here. Okay? I asked Walt for another thousand dollars, guys. Okay? Plus, I asked for. The money back. Now, when we went to Chicago and went to that dispensary, that was two. He claimed he ain't had no money now. Please keep this in mind. He all he, he was pulling this shit in Milwaukee. I ain't got no money. I'm broke. I'm broke. I'm broke. Just got thousands of dollars. Are you smoking crack? Because if he was, then I can understand him being broke. He ain't smoking crack but that I know of. I ain't never see him do it, but I'm just saying. What the fuck could be... Is he buying hoes? Hmm. Is he buying hoes? Some. Me and my mama thought, we thought that. We sure did. But anyway, the bottom line is, I asked him for $1,000, y'all, for rent here after I didn't pay a few thousand to get my key. I asked him for $1,000, y'all. And that's what set it all off yesterday. Okay. All right. My mother and everybody else was saying, you should charge him half. You should charge him half. You should charge him half. Okay. I wanted $1,000 plus what he owed me. That dispensary trip to Chicago was $225. He, I told him, give me 100 on it. He never did. I never got my money back for that. Okay. Really couldn't afford it, y'all, because I knew I was moving here. Okay? I did that because that was something Walt really wanted to do. Okay. Cool. We did that. Y'all, I have to honestly say that Walt may have bought me a few meals. So a, a few fast food. Not even five because I can count on one hand. Okay? I can count on one hand how much green he bought. Okay? It was me. Okay? He was always saying he ain't had no money, y'all. Always saying that. All the way till we got here, y'all. I had to pay. That truck was a gas guzzler. I had to keep paying for gas. At one point, we got to the gas station, and I just let, I left him in there to let him pay for it. And I walked out and got back in the truck. He came back out there and said, sis, you didn't, you didn't pay for the gas? Claiming not to have any money, y'all. 
This is what he claimed the whole time. So I asked Walt for the thousand dollars, okay? An additional thousand dollars, not for the truck, but for the motherfucking rent. We don't live in the truck, okay? Can't live in there. So that's what set him off yesterday, y'all. But the night before when I was on the phone with my mama, she had already said, as soon as you ask him for some money, he out. He gone. Once again, mama was right. It is what it is. But y'all, this is how it unfolded. <laughs> it unfolded like this yesterday morning. I got up. The door to the second bedroom was closed. Okay. I knocked on it. I said, you up in there? He said, yeah. I said, we need to talk, bro. Okay. He didn't come out, y'all. He didn't come out. So, I sat on the couch here and text him, I need $1,000 for rent. I want my money back from the uh, Chicago dispensary. You don't have to let him know all that. I texted to him. I said, since you don't want to come out, I text the shit to him. Then he come out. Okay. Walt was getting his shit, packing his shit, y'all. I just think that's so petty. It's so petty. How do you expect to live off of somebody for free? And all I'm going to say is this. If the YouTube, if Walt's YouTube is the reason why his head is so, um, you know, big. <sighs> All I can say is, Walt, you, you better understand that these females are out here to get what they can get to, okay? You had a sister who really loved you, cared about you, had your best interest, wasn't going to let nobody hurt you, would try to protect you at all costs. This is what you gave up yesterday when you left, Okay? Dude, you saw me struggle. You saw me have to call and, you know, I'm going to say this though. I never depleted my funds. I always had a stash. Okay. Irregardless. And the other day, me and Walt talked. I said, Walt, do you save your money? He said, yeah. I said, like, for a, a rainy day or, you know, you get low. Oh, shit, not now. You get low or whatever. Do you save your money? He said, yeah. I said, well, could you go get us some? Because um, I, I'm light. I'm light here, bro. He said, oh, I ain't going to have no money till payday. <laughs> hmm. Bullshit ain't nothing, y'all. In order for anybody to, uh, and I'm going I'm to use this same situation. Walt well, don't know anybody here in Florida. Okay. In order for him to take all his stuff out of here, one of them bags was huge. In order for him to take all the stuff out of here, y'all, he had to be taking it somewhere. Because this environment and neighborhood is not the type where you could just be outside like that, doing that with that ghetto shit. You can't do that. They'll call the cops. I was told that by the manager. Okay, listen. The manager never, never met Walt. She don't know who he is. So, all I'm saying is this. Ooh, y'all. The man took his stuff and he left, y'all. You gotta have money to do that. You gotta have money. I believe Walt called the Uber. Okay. Put his stuff in the Uber and hit it. Okay. That's what he did do, guys. Later on yesterday, I talked to Bethany. I called Bethany, you know. I wanted to tell her what was going on, what had happened. And she didn't, she wasn't available right there, but she did call me back, guys. And then I was able to tell her. And Bethany was like, he don't tell me nothing. He don't tell me nothing. He never tell me nothing. I see why. Because if he tell Bethany, Bethany going to tell Walt to do the right thing. And he don't want to hear that mothering. He don't want to hear that. That's why he don't tell Bethany. She going to tell his ass to do the right thing. Okay. And she still told him yesterday. 
Because when he was getting ready to leave, he was like, I'm going to get my own. With his slow talking ass. I'm going to, let me slow it down. I'm going to get my own. I said, nigga, do that. That's what you should do. Get your own, man. That way can't nobody say anything to you. When you paying your bills and paying your way in life and you doing it, can't nobody take that away from you. Okay. So. <laughs> Y'all. He had tried to call Bethany, but he didn't get through. So Bethany tried to call him back. She didn't get through. But then she finally did. Because I said, sis, when you talk, when, whenever you find out where he at, call me and let me know. Okay. Bethany called me back. And then I start asking her. I said, Walt had money, Bethany. And she was like, how do you know? Because he took all this shit out of here. Okay. Why would you take all this shit out of here? You can't carry all that on your back. It had to go somewhere in a car. And then wherever else. So when she called me back, she verified it. She said, yeah, Walt went to the airport and took a flight back to Milwaukee. Okay, y'all. That takes money, y'all. Okay? Right there. The dude had money all the time. Okay? Claiming like he was broke. He didn't give a fuck about me. He watched me call this person or this person to send me money or whatever, guys. You know, I have to say this too. My niece, Ouija, she keeps money for me. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but that's me and her business, but I'm, I'm just saying. So my money was never depleted. It still ain't depleted, y'all, you know. And I'm going to say thanks to some of y'all cut-ups too out there who cash at me and, and y'all look out for me for, you know, for whatever reason, I appreciate that shit. I really do, okay? Because when I'm light, I'm light. And I'll say it. You know, I'm never embarrassed to ask for help. Never. Okay? So all I'm saying is, y'all, my brother saw me go through all of this, y'all. He saw me go through all of this. He didn't care. A relationship was not what he really wanted with me. He wanted to use me. And he did use me, guys. But I'm just so glad that I found out sooner than later you know, I'm glad it only took a few days here, y'all. But see, Walt had just been laying around the house, not doing a lot, moving when I move. You don't know nobody. You know, just sitting around and stuff. You know. Listen. Every day we was here, because keep in mind, I'm the one buying all the green and stuff. I just bought some, y'all. Okay? And... I went out on a date, and when I came back, y'all, I saw just a, a, a bud left, and that, that, that shit made me so mad, y'all. It made me so mad. And the energy changed then in here, and Walt felt that. Walt was preparing that night until that next day, because he knew what was finna come. He knew I was finna get all in that ass. He knew it, and was quick to leave. That's what punks do, though. You can't stand the fire, so you run from it, even though it never had to be like that, okay? Do y'all know that even though he fucked me over, y'all, I still sent Walt texts, you know, telling him to come back till you find somewhere to go. Bro, please come back. Okay? Still. So, I really don't give a fuck about what nobody else out there got to say. What nobody else here. Did nobody else go through this. Okay. So, there it is. Y'all have the story. But, but I want bitches to beware of Walt. Okay. This is my disclosure for this video. Females, don't, don't get with them niggas that's trying to just get in your house. They don't care about you. Look what he did to his own sister. You really think he gonna give a fuck about the next female? If y'all think that, honey, don't stop thinking it. I'm here to say, 
Walt is a A1 user and a fucking bum, okay? It does not take a rocket scientist, okay, to figure out that this man need to just go on and get his own place. I told him that. It's nothing like your own, bro. Stop living on people's couches and living house to house and shit, man. Okay? You need to stop that. I don't understand what he's afraid of. It's, it's like he afraid to grow up or something. Like he wants somebody to keep taking care of his stinking ass. By the way, bro, you need to get your motherfucking ass in the motherfucking tub or shower every day, nigga. Okay? Because the very first night you spent at the crib, when you got up the next morning, nigga, I remember you only went in there and put on a motherfucking shirt, nigga, then hit no water of no kind, no sort of water. Clean your breath, because it's stank, man. Okay. All that slow talking got your breath on, Bob. Okay? So all I'm going to say, bro, you shouldn't have fucked with me. You shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. Because you had to know. Even though I told you I wasn't going to do it. Oh, bitch. I had to do this. For the simple fact you was around me. Conniving and scheming the whole motherfucking time. Yes, I'm going to expose your motherfucking ass. I don't care. Sibling or not. Hey, y'all already know. If mama have been in videos to heal, everybody else know what the fuck to expect. Don't fuck with me. You know, it's very simple. Very easy to understand, okay? I'm trying to live my life, okay? Away from everybody. I'm trying to do me here. I ain't bothering nobody. I'm not. I'm trying to get to know people and shit, y'all. I don't need drama. But if a bitch bring it to me, oh, I'm giving it back. You better know that. So, it is what it is, y'all. Beware. Uh, because all I can say is that at the end of the day, I'm going to be all right. My bills was already paid, okay? And taken care of. That's, that's why I'm in here. I'm going to be okay. I don't need Walt here. Let me tell y'all something. I asked him. I said, well, when you leaving? Y'all you, know his plan was to be going to Vegas, right? He told me that his nephew... Dalvin got him a place in Las Vegas. He said that Dalvin was going to try to get him in the same building and that he was going to get a two-bedroom in the same building. Now, this is what he told me. I said, okay, so when you going, bro? When you going? Dude, answer was sometime this year. Huh? The year just started, nigga. <laughs> The year just started. The nigga said sometime this year. Y'all. Walt planned to stay here as long as I would allow him to leech and live off of me. That's how long he was going to stay. But that shit ended yesterday. Because the nigga wasn't talking about helping with no, no um, rent money. No, nigga, you ain't going to live like this. And pay zero. The thing is, I don't even understand, like, Walt need to get himself, go to the gym, work out, get a little buff, because he ain't got no muscle power nowhere. The only thing I can say Walt did, that where he did exude a little bit of muscle power, okay, was driving me here and putting my, uh, my furniture and everything in my apartment. But even though I had to still go find a whole nother person to help him do that and pay that person. I still had to do that, though. But that is the only thing my brother did for me. And don't get me wrong, I appreciate that. But I have done so much more. It was never even. Never even. I did the majority. The nigga lied like he never had no money. Ain't this a bitch? Y'all. <laughs> Ooh, wee. You know, it make you want to hurt a hoe. It really do. It really do. You know. <clears throat> but you know what, y'all? I'm going to let my lifestyle be my revenge. Okay? I'm going to progress in my life. 
I'm going to keep doing me, meeting the right people, putting myself in the right positions, okay? I'm aiming for the sky. I'm reaching, baby, and nothing is going to stop me. So all I know is that I'm glad that I found out sooner than later that this nigga is a bum. Okay? It's a wrap on that, y'all. But beware. Females out there, just beware. That's all I'm going to say. Y'all beware, you know, of them niggas. And, you know, I just don't understand. You know, just because a man can have an income, a lot of these ladies, that's good enough. They figure, hey, he going to pay this, he going to pay that. And you know what he is? Because somebody's going to use him the same way he used me. It was already happening, y'all, with Cindy. Even though, I'm honestly say, I don't, hey, I've been through it now, okay? Y'all out there can say what y'all want to say. Walt ain't live with y'all, okay? He ain't live with y'all. He lived here. I've seen the shit firsthand, and I'm glad. Like my Uncle Ronnie said, just be glad that you found out sooner than later. Now he's gone. And you don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to keep going on in my life, guys, and doing what I do and being progressive. But if a bitch get in my way, I'm blasting them. That's all my life. That's all my life.